In this video, let's learn how to handle patch requests in our API route. A patch request applies partial modifications to a resource. In our case, we just have the one property text, which makes it pretty easy to update the comment. Let's begin by understanding what a patch request looks like in Thunder Client. So, new request. And I'm going to first change the HTTP verb from get to patch. The URL remains the same as before. So let me copy paste it. Localhost 5173 slash API slash comments followed by the comment ID. We will be updating comment with ID 4. Under body, under JSON, I'm going to add an object with text property set to a different string. If I now hit the send button, we see the status 405 method not allowed. Let's go back to our API route and add a function to handle this patch request. In server.js file within the comment ID folder, I'm going to define and export a new function. The function is an async function called patch. The function receives request event as an argument. From this argument, we're going to destructure two things params, and request. Params, which we had a look at in the previous video, and request, which we had a look at in the video on making a post request. From params, we further destructure the comment ID. This is the last segment present in the URL. In the next line, we extract the JSON body that is sent as part of the request. So await request.json. We destructure text property from the object returned. Next, we find the comment that we need to update. The logic remains the same from the previous video, so let me copy paste. Once we have the comment, we update the text property on that comment. Comment.text is equal to text from the request. Finally, we return a new response with the updated comment as JSON. If we now save the file and go back to Thunder Client, with our patch request in place, and hit the send button, we see 200 OK and the updated comment as response. ID 4, text is updated comment. If I switch tabs to make a GET request to just slash API slash comments, we have our four comments. We see the updated comment as part of the array. This is pretty much how we handle patch requests in API routes. In the next video, let's see how to handle delete requests. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.